Genesis 32 Jacob had been getting pretty used to taking the things he wanted, but not without a lot of struggles. He tricked his brother and took his birthright. He tricked his father and stole his brother's blessing. Now he was terrified of his brother Esau and ran away from the land God promised his father Isaac and his grandfather Abraham, and Jacob fled to his uncle Laban's land. Then he saw Rachel and wanted her for his wife. But Laban tricked Jacob and made him work for twenty years. Now Jacob was married to Rachel and Leah. He had his own children and flocks of animals and servants. And God told Jacob it was time for him to go back home to the promised land. But Jacob was afraid to go back and see Esau. The last time he saw his brother, he wanted to kill him. Would God keep Jacob and his family safe? On his way home, one of the first signs Jacob had that God was with him was an army of angels of God. Jacob was still scared and separated his flocks and family and prayed that God would protect them. He sent a gift ahead to Esau to show how powerful and wealthy he was, and he sent his family ahead of him across the Jabbok River along with everything else he owned and hoped that maybe his brother would see how rich and powerful he was and not fight him. But Jacob was still afraid and stayed behind. A man came from out of nowhere and wrestled Jacob that night until morning. Then the man touched the inside of Jacob's hip, and it became twisted and painful. The man asked Jacob to let him go. But Jacob had figured out that this stranger was no ordinary person and said, Not until you bless me. So the man asked, What is your name? Jacob, he answered. Your name shall not be Jacob any more. Instead, it will be Israel. You have wrestled with God and you have wrestled with people and you have won. And the man blessed Jacob. The name Israel means wrestle with God. So Jacob now knew that this extraordinary man he was wrestling with wasn't just a man like him but was God. Jacob said, I saw God face to face, but I'm still alive. The sun rose and Jacob left walking with a limp and a changed heart. When Jacob felt alone and afraid, God came to him and showed him that he was with Jacob and God gave Jacob strength and the blessing he needed to meet his brother and face his fears. God comes to us when we're feeling alone and afraid too. Sometimes we might have to wrestle with God in our prayers, but if we seek him with all our hearts, we will find God's blessing for us too. Thanks for watching.